what is up you guys and welcome to my channel for those of you who are new i'm not in my normal setup i'm obviously at home that's a long story that we're not going to get into and i also know that this video does not have an intro but i am very excited to get this video out to you guys for one if you've seen the title i love euphoria everyone loves euphoria right now and for two i get so excited about makeup content and my makeup content doesn't do that well sorry i'm chewing gum during this so i like to chew jump what after I brush my teeth, I like to put gum in my mouth and I just like to chew gum. Yeah, so we didn't do it. But I get so excited about makeup content and sadly it doesn't do the best on my channel. But makeup is literally my passion. It's literally the reason why I started YouTube. And so it makes me sad that it doesn't do that well. But I'm always going to produce it. Even though I know it's not going to get that much traction, we're going to we're gonna put it out there. So I'm really excited about this if you can't tell by my energy. I'm excited to be home, but I just wanted to come home and take some time for me. Also spring break is this coming week so so you know just taking that time and yeah <laughs> also there's i'm gonna say like there's nobody home so we're gonna we're gonna take this time take advantage of this time to really be myself and be out there i feel like i tone myself down a lot in videos because like i don't want other people to hear me like i don't want to hear them hear me wait what i don't want them see i don't want them to hear me mess up because then it just makes it awkward basically the original idea for this video was to just do a tiktok most of the video i'm not talking in but i have this mentality whenever a camera is rolling i like to talk so i started talking later on um in the video so there's a few clips where i start talking but for the most part it was just supposed to be silent because i was just gonna make a tiktok out of it but i decided to take it a little step further because i filmed all this content yeah anyways we're gonna hop right into it i'm gonna film this basically like the act Action style. We're gonna be watching it together. I'm also gonna watch it with. I'm putting my AirPods. One moment. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and hop right into this. So yeah, let's go ahead and hop right into it. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. Three, two, one. All right. So basically, I wanted to start this off from the beginning. I don't know about y'all, but when I go out, I like to be fully clean. I shower. I do the whole nine. Also, my hair was really dirty and I just wanted to wear it out curly originally because I didn't know what outfit I was going to wear up until literally this point. Obviously, I need to get new hair products because I'm running out, but I didn't know what outfit I was going to wear, so I decided to go ahead and wash my hair just in case I was going to wear it out, but I ended up pulling it back, so it was kind of a waste of time, but anyways, I'm going to do an updated curly hair routine very soon because I feel like there's some new things that I've been implementing that have really been working out for my hair. I'm sure you guys would want to know. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that out for you guys. But yeah, y'all like the, the vibing music that I found? Shout out to SoundCloud. <laughs> if you ever want to know like where I get my music from that I put in the background of my videos, at least more recently, it's usually from SoundCloud. So, not Siri. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and pull the hair back and we're gonna start the face, okay? Um, so I'm gonna actually do an updated skincare routine as well because I've been using some new products. You'll see a few of them featured in this video that I've really been liking that I use today and you know, the skin is glowing and showing out. We love to see it. So, you know, the whole nine, getting it together. I was drowning, baby. <laughs> dry your face with paper towels don't use the towel that builds up bacteria all that just use a paper towel i'm really feeling the music though <laughs> obviously my camera was not messing with me and what the <laughs> What am I doing? <laughs> but you know, like I said, when I go out, I like to do this whole thing before I go out, get myself ready, get a little dancing, okay, and get into it because it's a whole it's a whole process. Like I like to be real fresh and clean, hair real nice. Like when I go out, I step out, okay, and I make sure it's known that I step out. So I do this whole thing to prepare me. Like, if you see me in class versus when you see me when I go out, I'm two different people. There's no in-between. Two different people. I'm either bummed out or stepping out. Let's get into the makeup, okay? 
what I'm about to get into and I'm kind of nervous about putting this out because there was my inspiration for them. But I haven't done creative eye makeup in a very long time. Like at the start of this video, this is the first time that I had done creative makeup in a very long time. And when I say creative makeup, I pretty much mean anything with color <laughs> that isn't like a bronze eye. Um, and yeah, I haven't done it in a long time. And I was very limited on time with this video because I started getting ready kind of late. Because we had went to the pool before this and then I had to shower. But we all couldn't shower at the same time. So I had to wait on them. And then it was this whole thing. So I had like an hour to at this point to finish everything. Like hair, makeup, get dressed, figure out what I was going to wear. Um, so yeah, but basically let me show y'all what I'm doing. So I basically just prime my eyes with my e.l.f. concealer. The e.l.f. camel concealer that I rave about all the time. Okay. And then I set that with a little bit of my like setting powder and I'm going in with a very detailed brush not crazy detailed a little fluffy um, and like a dark blue to like outline the shape and if you see the inspiration photo compared to it I just wanted to kind of eye out that shape at first what y'all thinking what y'all thinking um, I just wanted to like make sure I have the shape down and then now I'm going in with like a more intense blue over that same line and it doesn't matter if it's like a little smudgy because we'll clean that up with concealer a little bit later but as you guys can see I really wanted to take this really far out and I even ended up taking it out a little bit further like all the way into my hairline because I just like the way that it looks it gave me very much editorial pulling it out there so that's what I decided to do but yeah I'm just going back in with those blues to intensify that line to make it really prominent and then I'm going in with the lighter blue as you can see basically on top of that line but just a little bit above it like I don't know how to explain it but this is how you create that blend I'm just taking a different color slightly lighter and going right on top of it but a little bit above it if that makes sense to blend it out and then we also using a very precise brush as well when you're doing line work like this it's very important that you that your brushes match that because um, if they're too fluffy it'll disperse it a little too much the color won't be as pigmented and it'll take a lot longer or you just won't be able to achieve what you want to so just be precise with that now I'm taking in a white pretty much just like a stark white and mixing it in with like a lighter blue and using that to blend those edges and as you can see the brush is a little bit fluffier here because I want it to disperse that color a lot more and I'm taking this all the way up to my brow bone as you guys can see so yeah I look a little crazy because my eyebrows aren't done and I'm starting on my eyeshadow but anyways we're gonna pull it together and yeah so it's just a lot of like I cut a lot of stuff out but I was starting to feel it here like I, I felt like I was doing something <laughs> To cut up my crease and everything but yeah I cut out a lot because <laughs> I really wanted to make sure that it was looking good even though I had a limited time um, and I feel like it still turned out really nice for it being my first time like back into creative makeup and it made me like miss it like I want to do it again also I didn't say we were going to a euphoria party like a euphoria themed party I didn't say that this was the week right before the season finale. I'm going pretty fast, so it's gonna look, it's not gonna look the prettiest, but I'm gonna work with what we got. Rodney, 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 it might be Rodney. Yes, period. Wow. He's showing me his makeup. Wow. I'll see if I can get him to send me a picture. And I'll I'm sure it did. I'm rushing now, trying to finish mine. And then, and then, like, if you can see right here, if I can try to, like, the light. Oh, it's like holographic? Yeah. A... Girl, I'm ready, bitch. I am ready. I know you are. Woo! Oh. I was just calling to show y'all the hell. Aww. You want to see Okay. <laughs> bye but yeah basically we were all getting ready at the same time like all of our friends were going out like this was the night okay, we're gonna be our face makeup so we can kind of 
snatch it together. They're kind of uneven, but it's fine. We're gonna work with it. Okay, cool. Now I'm gonna go in. Ooh, I'm gonna go in with this is a eyebrow brush. Ooh, I'm gonna use this with like a deep blue. It's really thin. I can really kind of carve out that line and really add some depth in there in the knee area. So basically, I set my lids. I got ahead of myself. I set my lids with a mix of my setting powder and some white after I cut my crease. Okay, cool. I don't have time, so I need to chop chop. I got like an hour. Finish my hair and my makeup and get dressed. We got to speed it up. Come on. And I'm gonna start connecting this. I mean, I'm doing it a little bit different than what it actually is, but it's fine. might be where it starts going bad. You know, because I have faith in myself and we're gonna get it looking real cute. I should have started with the lighter color. It's fine, it's fine. So different. They're so different. But it's okay. I'm gonna focus all the way in. Go over top and a little bit like over the line where that was. Because right now we're creating our ombre. Okay, good enough. We're gonna work with it. Um, now we're gonna take on this same brush. I'm gonna grab some of that white and kind of blend with it and blend the very edge of that. And I'm gonna start like really coating the lid with this white so that a nice flat color for all of the glitter. So basically what I'm doing now is just coating my lids in white. Okay, cool. I need to add yeah. some more depth to that, but I'm gonna go ahead and start with my glitters. I have liquid purple and liquid silver, but I also have the Sweetie palette. And if you know the Sweetie, am I good? <laughs> if you know the Sweetie palette, it has like all these like crazy shimmers in it. You can't really see, oh, look at that star one, which would be perfect here. Oh, hers kind of like, her blue kind of comes in. We should do that. So it kind of like comes in here. I'm gonna take the lightest blue that we use, and I'm not gonna go any further than my natural crease with the blue that we're adding here. I need like. So as you can see, I started to like build it onto my lid because I noticed that it was like that a little bit more in the inspiration. And then I'm gonna go in with those glitters and put those on the lid as well. I use the James Charles and the Sweetie palette this liquid, for this eyeshadow and, liquid. Liquid. and the Elf like the liquid glitters. So much to do in some time, and this is just gonna go like everywhere, kind of messy. Not because we don't want to mess up all the work that we just did. Something so fast with this. I've never done such a dramatic look so quick. I'm gonna use my finger for this. Look on here, and it has like a blue reflect in it, so it looks like perfect. This, and this is going more towards the outside. It's getting a little messy now, not gonna lie. I don't hate it. I think it's giving euphoria vibes. Right, so I'm gonna do jewels and everything too, and then like the under eye, but I need to do my face makeup, so we can chop that up real quick. So this is when go time started. <laughs> I had to chop chop. Um, I'm gonna do an updated like face we're getting updates on everything. So my face makeup routine. I can do my face really fast as long as I don't talk. So we gotta, we gotta hurry. I have an hour to finish my face. 
face. Can we just say that my curls were popping in this video though? Too bad I didn't wear my hair out. But yeah, I like to go very bright under my eyes, as you guys can tell. And I've noticed from this video that I may need to tone that back just a little bit more. But the finished product, you'll see, I won't look this crazy. But maybe like in a process, I can save myself some time and not go so bright. But I just really like a bright under eye. Like I feel like that's my staple. A bright under eye and a pink nudie lip. That that's my go-to and I can't it can't ever miss like it always looks good so yeah but I think so far the makeup has turned out so good I'm really proud of like what I was able to do in such little time and with it being so long since I've done creative makeup but as you guys can see it's crunch time now I can do my face makeup really fast as long as I'm not talking because I've been doing it so for so long um, the eyes is what takes me the most time and I probably spent an hour maybe a little less than that on the eyes because it was kind of rushed but yeah as you guys can see I'm going even brighter under my eyes because that's what we'd like to see make sure I'm actually looking good because I have not put on my glasses yet okay I'm bad so it's been less than 20 minutes I'm pretty 20 minute piece. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and some of the brows are going pretty natural with the brows today so because I feel like it just added more emphasis to the look. So right here I'm doing the drips that it has under the eyes which I feel like gave very much season one euphoria especially the first season when like Rue and Jules are like getting high and they had like the dripping eyes. It gave me that vibe so I really wanted to include that and I also added glitter and jewels to it so I feel like it really added to that look I don't know I really liked this look I literally found this look while we were at the pool like I didn't know at all what I was gonna do and I feel like it really came together and it looked really good. Um, it's kind of meant to look I'm just taking that elf glitter and on my finger and like just tapping it under my eye. No strategic way, just putting it down there. <laughs> I was going to add more than just that, but I think that is the trick. Freaking good. I definitely think it's a night to wear contacts. Too bad I didn't have time to put my contacts in. <laughs> blush is being added and then I ended up using that same glitter as my highlighter I like it added to it and I'm doing that little like outer corner eyelash thing but I feel like it was not working out I ended up making it work but I don't, I don't think it was for me <laughs> I think the lashes that I cut were a little too dramatic, but all I have is dramatic lashes. <laughs> if you guys don't know, I feel like I talk about this all the time, but I have blepharitis or blepharitis in my eye, so my eyes like crust over and it makes my eyelashes fall out. Look it up. The girls that get it get it. The girls that don't know, but it's pretty common, I think. But I don't know. So, anyways, to make up for it, I always wear like dramatic eyelashes so all I have is dramatic eyelashes 
Also, I don't want y'all to think that I'm like literally making it worse by putting on lashes. Because I very rarely do my makeup now. Like, I do my makeup like once a week when we go out. Now. For the most part, I think I think we're looking maybe twice a week. But I rarely like when I go to class, I don't wear makeup anymore. Should have like done different colors. Anyways, here's the inspo. It's crunch time now though, so don't be alarmed by how how fast I'm moving and how much you may have missed. Your time. Here we go. But look how cute it came out. I love it. It looks so good. Get your dance on. Okay. Let's go to the club. Who are you? I'm you 10 minutes from now. Damn it. You are handsome. <laughs> I was just thinking the same. <laughs> Elevated surfaces. Taylor is I've been going to the gym, y'all. Oh my god. Close them up. <laughs> Like you kinda My people are more to the Yo, gym. you can see everything up here, y'all. Y'all uh, there's palm trees. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope y'all liked it or whatever. I got a few little clips of us like when we were out. And so you guys kind of got a look of like what everybody else was looking like. Uh, it was a very fun night, I will say. Some things happened. <laughs> I may have been a little, a little woozy, but it was a very fun night and I like want them to do it again. It was so good, so good. Euphoria has made such an impact on our generation. Like, and just being there that night, it literally felt like we went to like, like you for your high school like oh my gosh everybody was in there dressed up the whole night and it was just beautiful beautiful execution our crew looked amazing the bar looks amazing everything just looked so good that's pretty much it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as i enjoyed filming it and watching it and editing it for you guys and i hope you guys got everything that you wanted from this video and yeah, I'm just so excited to put this out. So I'm literally about to edit this right now so I can get it up very soon. Genuinely, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Also, I put thumbnail on my TV thinking that it was, it was really going to do something, but it was behind my head the whole time. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Don't forget, follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. My reels be popping more than my TikToks, but I need my TikToks. Follow me on those. I'll put them on the screen. Bye, guys.